Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Wilson, one of the co-founders of Positively Empowered Kids. From today, we are starting to have interviews with amazing people, and one of them is the lovely Charlie Kelly. Now, I saw a post from Charlie maybe a week or two ago, and I've since been in touch with Charlie, had a chat with him, and he I was really happy to come on and um, inspire some other children by letting them know what he's been up to at this very unusual and unprecedented time. So hi, good morning, Charlie. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm really good, thank you, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Uh, obviously we've had a chat, but tell everybody yeah. your age, um, where you're from, and a little bit about what you've been up to. Um, so I'm, um, I'm Charlie, I am 15 years old, I am 16 at the end of this month, and I have over the last few weeks been doing some flags for every country in the world that's been affected by COVID-19, and yeah, that's what I've been doing so far. Okay, I'm going to show everybody, I'm just going to share screen right now, and show everybody what you did, because this is the post that I saw and got in touch with you after seeing this. So I'll just read this for everybody. Hello, my name is Charlie, I'm 15 years old and I have autism and cerebral palsy. And I decided to do a window display of flags of all the different countries around the world suffering from COVID-19. I hope you like it and please share it. It would mean a lot to me. And I just was so inspired, Charlie, by seeing this post and how incredibly yeah. detailed it is that you've took so much time to yeah. kind of put this together um, and you know when you see young people taking some action to keep their minds occupied and keep themselves busy yeah. um, mm. it's, as I say it's really really inspiring now do you want to tell everybody how many likes you reckon you've had in total I know it's different because you've had different posts going out but I know this yeah. particular one you told me a certain number didn't you roughly this one post. Yeah, yeah. Um, on one of the posts, um, I can't remember exactly what page it was, but they had over one million people on it. And when I put it up in the space of about 20 minutes, we had about 3,000 likes. And all together, we've got over 20,000. On that one post. And then yeah. you put the posts out and about, haven't you? And you reckon... What, how many in total do you think you've got? Um, I'd say I've got over 50,000 now. That's incredible. Really amazing. You know, I this, not this, expect that at all. <laughs> no, you don't when you put it out. But this is the thing, you know, people have been doing rainbows in their windows, but you've took it a massive step forward. You've actually stopped to think how many people have been affected yeah. and in how many countries I mean that to spend time doing that and how's that been for you in terms of how it's kind of helped um, you get through the days of being isolated um well it's helped me a lot because you know it distracts me so what because I am I do have quite bad anxiety so when I um get nervous or worried, like I try and take my mind off it by doing things like the flags that I've done. Um and also some other things that I've um been doing is obviously like I said at the beginning, the Chelsea FC stadium that I've been doing. Um we've been doing that every night and also if I have time throughout the day I do go on my PlayStation for a couple of hours just to play with my friends for a little while. And do you do that mainly because you get to communicate with your friends? Is that something that? Yeah. 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 Now yeah. that's good. Yeah. You know, my, my little girl, she does that just to be able to talk to her friends because you haven't got that connection, yeah. have you? And talking to people know, is really yeah. important and having that connection with people. So you're finding ways to do that. You're not just sitting on your PlayStation on your own. You're actually oh, talking. No. To people. Oh, yeah. And I'm that's... also going on a bike ride once a day. Yeah, so I can get my leg working. Mm -hmm. um, and how's that to get I'm out outside? Yeah. You enjoy getting outside. Yeah, that's amazing. It's it's great to see that you know there's so much we can do stuck in our houses if yeah. we think about what possibilities there are. And like you say, it really has helped your anxiety 
to keep your mind occupied because we can if we just sit there and um, don't actually make any effort to do anything we can quite easily get more and more anxious with everything that's yeah. happening um, yeah. so for me I'm really inspired which is why this interview is happening um, mm. by you because other children can kind of see then what's possible and parents can see as well I think it's important that parents see what young people are doing to make a big difference in their own lives but also yeah. inspiring yeah. other people yeah so if you had any message for um kids out there that may be a bit worried about the situation from your point of view what advice would you give them um like they've been saying on the news stay at home protect yourself protect your elderly um stay at home and maybe to see if you can do some things around the house like yesterday when i came back from my bike ride our neighbor um lovely um he um he set up a um a little Easter egg hunt in my garden for me. Um, as obviously we can't celebrate Easter properly this year, so we set up a little Easter egg hunt in my garden, and um, he did that for me. But if you're bored in general, like maybe maybe have a look at what I did and see if you can do anything similar. Because all the while, all the while you're worrying about it, there's no like. It, there's nothing we can do about it at the minute. We have to do, we will get through it, but it might be some time. So just try and not worry about it. They got like the they know what they're doing, the government, and um let's just hope we'll get through this. Hopefully I think we will. And um that's my message to all of you. Just get out there, do some things in your home, keep yourself entertained, and if you can connect with friends in any way to talk to them, then do that. Wise words. That is yeah. amazing. Thank you so much for this. This has been amazing. And we will get it out there and let these young people know what can yeah. be done um, and what better person to, to share that. You know, yeah. well done. It's amazing what yeah. you're doing, Charlie. And it's really, really lovely to connect. So thank you. Thank you. I hope thank you've enjoyed you. it, everybody. And yeah. uh, we'll have another interview with another great person very very soon take care bye everybody